Hi everyone! My name is Alyssa Vargas and I am the teaching artist with BMCYF's Space to Create program. So we are doing projects with the elements of art and today is going to be on space. So we're going to be doing a perspective drawing of a city. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and if you follow along, please remember to show us what you've created. Alright, let's get started! So if you take your project packet out for this week, you're going to see that on the page that says space at the top and it's got this little picture at the bottom, it shows the horizon line and then it shows a point coming off of it where you're drawing lines to make a street. So that's what we're going to be doing. From that street, we're going to be drawing buildings. And so if you look here at the part that shows, it says create an illusion of space through perspective. So you're going to be going from a vanishing point and you're going to be making boxes. And those are going to be your buildings. So to get started with this, all that you're going to need is a pencil with an eraser and you're definitely going to need a ruler for this. So you're going to get out your ruler and you're going to create the horizon line. So that is a horizontal line across the paper and you're going to want to make it a little further up on the paper. This is going to allow for more things to be put into the foreground and the middle ground, which is important when we're going to be doing buildings. So once you draw this line, you're going to choose a spot for your vanishing point. And I'm going to be doing the vanishing point directly in the middle. So my paper is 12 inches across, so I'm going to do it at 6 inches. And I'm doing this because it's going to be a little bit easier that way. And since we're just introducing you to this idea, I would suggest just doing it directly in the middle of your page like I am. Now from that point, I'm going to be making two lines that are going to form my street. So I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my paper, and I'm going to make this line a little to the left. That way I have two different perspectives of buildings. The buildings that are going to be on one side of the street and buildings that are going to be on the other side of the street are going to be looked at from a different perspective. They're not going to be right down the middle uh, like that picture on your first page of your packet. So this street is going to be the starting point that all of my buildings are going to come off of. I'm going to start with the building that is the closest to me and on the left side of the page. So to start doing a building, what you're going to want to do is create a vertical line and this is going to be the edge of my building on the right side of my building. So I want to create this building about two stories high. Um, so I'm just going to draw this line. And then to get the top of my building, I'm going to use that vanishing point. And I'm going to draw a line. And that is going to form the uh, edge of the top of my building. So you can see it kind of looks like a rectangular box, but it's going to be slightly warped because of the perspective looking from that vanishing point. So now to get the edge of the top of the building on the other side, you're going to do a line that is directly across, horizontally, that goes along with the horizon line. So I'm going to line it up as good as I can here, and then I'm going to draw a line across. So now I've got the shape of my first building and now what I'm going to want to do is add a little bit to this building. So adding a front door is a good idea and you could also add some windows if you would like. Just like with the building, my top line of this doorway is going to be drawn using the vanishing point 
and then the sides of it are going to be drawn just doing vertical lines. So I'm going to start with this vertical line and I'm going to figure out where the height of my door is going to go. And so I'm going to try to make it as accurate as I can, but I did end up making it a little too tall. Um, but that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect since we're just learning this. And then I'm going to be doing the top of the door, and you're going to want to match that up with the vanishing point. After that, you're going to do another horizontal on the left side of the door, that's going to be the other side of the doorway. So now you can choose what you want to do in this doorway. Sometimes I make it double doors. Um, what I'm going to do is make it look like a hallway, like you're walking into the door and going through a hallway. So to do this, you're just going to draw a horizontal line from the right side of the doorway. And there you go, it looks like you can walk inside of there. The next thing you can do is add some windows. So it's the same concept where you're going to want to do lines for the top and the bottom of the window frame are going to need to be from the vanishing point. So what I usually do is start out with a rectangle and then I'll draw my lines inside of that rectangle. That way I can kind of get them to all line up. So my windows line up and then I'll erase the lines in between. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And so I'm going to draw one line, and then I'll do a vertical, so I can see about how high I want my windows to be. I'm going to do them about like that. And then my next line will be from the vanishing point. And I would go all the way to the side, but I unfortunately don't have any room to move my ruler all the way over to the left because um, there is something right next to me holding my camera up. So um, you're going to want to draw that line all the way to the edge of the paper. So now I'm just going to make some lines for my windows. And as the windows get closer to you, you're going to want the lines or the space in between to get a little bit bigger. And then as it gets closer to the vanishing point, the windows are going to shrink and get smaller. So you can notice that the uh, window that's closest to the vanishing point on the right side is smaller than my window that's going to be closest to me. So now I'm just going to erase the space in between and then I've got two windows. Now to start my next building, I'm going to want space in between, so kind of like an alleyway going between the two buildings, because buildings aren't really that close to each other, so you need to make that space in between them. So what I did is just draw a horizontal line, that way it looks like there is a little road or an alleyway going that way. And then the next building is going to be off of that corner of the two lines where they meet. So this is going to be a one-story building. So it's going to be half the size of my two-story building. So I'm going from the middle of my two-story building and I'm going to draw up to the vanishing point and create the length, how long I want the building to be, and then draw a vertical line from that corner. Now I'll draw the vertical line of the other side of the building. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So about like that. And then I'll draw my horizontal line. And so now I have the face of the building. And so I'm going to be doing another horizontal line. And this is going to be the side of the building. This is going to help create the illusion that one building is behind the other building. This overlapping is really important if you want to make realistic drawings. So now I'm going to finish my building by drawing a horizontal line for the last side of the building. And so now we've got a box. 
and then we're going to want to do a opening to this building as well. So because most doorways are the same size, what we're going to do is go off the doorway of the first building and put it all the way to the vanishing point. That way we know about how small this next doorway is going to be to put it into the right perspective. You can choose to put this doorway wherever you want. I'm going to do this doorway a little bit closer to the left side of the building. It's not going to be directly in the middle of the building since um, a lot of different buildings have their doors and all sorts of areas of the building. You could even do it on the side of the building if you wanted to. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the last doorway. Only this one I'm going to do double doors. My line was a little too far to the left side, making the right side of the doorway look a little bit larger, which doesn't make sense when you're going off of a vanishing point. And using perspective, you want the door, the side of the door that's to the left needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to redo this line and just make it to where the left side of the doorway is slightly larger. And there we go. Now on this building, I'm going to do some windows as well, but I'm going to do this window on the side of the building. So doing a window on the side of the building, you'll notice that the lines of this um, rectangle that is forming this building, this side that's facing us is actually just a regular size square, which means that your windows are going to be as perfectly um, horizontal and vertical as they can be. So your lines are going to be just straight lines. They're not going to be going off the vanishing point. That's because this wall is directly facing us. So there's no distortion. The next thing I'm going to do is add another window and I want this one to be like a display window in front of a store. So it's going to be a really big window. And so, because it's on the side of the building that's being affected by the vanishing point, this window is going to have um, the two lines on the top of the frame and the bottom of, of the frame are going to be going off the vanishing point. And so it's going to be the same as the windows that we did in the first building. So because this big window is in the front, you could actually see the side of the building inside. So what I'm going to do is draw a horizontal line. That way if you were looking into this building, you could see the other side of the wall through it. Um, you could fill your uh, windows with stuff too if you wanted to put things inside of the window. Draw a little um, storefront with something inside of it. like. Uh, mannequins or something you could do that but I'm just gonna make all mine empty because I'm just showing you how to do this so we're gonna do this next building I want it to be a two-story building as well so as you can see I lined it up to my other two-story building that way they both start at the same spot on the vanishing point point. and we're gonna do the same process as we did with the other two buildings and you can choose how long you want this building to be by however long you draw this horizontal line. And then you'll draw another vertical line. And now the top of this building is going to be harder to see because it's getting closer to the vanishing point. So you'll draw a line and then you're going to line it up and draw your horizontal line. And you can still see the top of the building because it's still under the vanishing point but there's not very much top of the building that you can see. Now the next step will be the doorway. So what I'm actually going to do is draw my door about in the middle and then because it's so far away I'm not going to really draw anything else in that doorway. 
I'm just gonna leave it blank because you're not really gonna see much in there from this far away. And then I'm going to do some windows up top the doorway. So you're gonna wanna go from the vanishing point, draw your first line. Then I'm gonna start with the horizontal lines. And I started out with making the horizontal line accidentally meet with the ground and you don't wanna do that. Um, no windows are gonna be against the ground. So there needs to be some space in between. I'm going to draw from the vanishing point again and do the bottom of the uh, window frame. And then I'll draw the last few horizontal lines to complete these windows. I'm going to do another set of windows up top and you can put your windows wherever you want. You can make your buildings as tall as you want. Um, it's really up to you how you want to do it. I'm just really making it up as I go and so I'm going to start out with a rectangle for this one and I'm going to split them up here and so because I'm going to do a row of windows here I'm going to make these lines get closer together as they get closer to the vanishing point because those windows that are furthest away, you're not going to be able to see those as well. They're going to kind of start to disappear. For the next building, I'm going to make a bigger street on this side. So I'm going to add some more space in between these two buildings and then I'm going to erase this line for the street. That way you can tell that it looks like it wraps around and you could go through there with a car. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with these other buildings. So I can draw a line horizontally going from this corner. And this is going to be a really tall building. So. Now this building is going to go above the vanishing point. So your lines are actually going to go at a different angle here towards the vanishing point. So you'll notice that you're actually looking up at the building now. So you can't see the top of this building because you're actually looking up at it rather than looking down at it like the other buildings. But it's still the same process. And so you're gonna do your horizontal lines to create this box. And now these doorways are going to be really far away, but I'm going to do two doorways on this building since it's a really big building. And I'm going to line it up with the rest of the doorways. And they're going to be really small. But I'm going to do one on the left side and one on the right side of this building. This building is basically a skyscraper. So skyscrapers usually have a lot of windows. So on this side of the building, I'm going to do a pretty big set of windows. And then I'm gonna erase the space in between each window. So just like I did with the other windows, only I'm gonna do a lot more of them. And this side of the building is directly facing us. So your windows are going to be either perfect boxes or perfect rectangles because there's no distortion. You could leave your windows like this, but I'm going to add some space in between them. Uh, but some windows you could just use those lines as the framing for the windows, since they are so far away. But I'm just going to erase in between each set of windows, and then I'm going to erase horizontally between each set of windows as well. 
This is going to add some space between each one. Now I'm going to do some sets of windows on the front of the building, but I'm going to do these ones using the vanishing point because they are on that side of the building that is being affected by the vanishing point. With that building done, I'm going to draw another building over here that's going to be coming off of that side street. And so it's going to have a face that's directly facing um, the viewer, so me. And I'm going to go off the vanishing point for the side of the building, draw a horizontal for the top of the building. And this building is also above the vanishing point, so you're not going to see the top of this building. And you'll want to erase this horizon line now that you're going over it. And then I'm going to draw another horizontal for the end of the building. And then because the street ends where I put it, I'm going to make sure that I end this building at the same spot. So right there. And then I'll add one more building to the side of this one as well. I also put the edge of the street. And make sure you also use the vanishing point for the side of this building. And then if you want to, you can add some windows or some doors to these buildings as well. Um, I'm not going to do a door, I'm just going to do some windows because I'm uh, assuming that my door is on a different side of this building. So I'm just going to do some windows in the front. 
And again, this side of the building is facing me directly, so I am not going to be um, using the vanishing point for these windows. I'm just going to be creating vertical and horizontal lines, and they're going to be either perfect squares or rectangles, whatever size you decide to make these. And it's good to have variation with the different sizes of windows as well. On that last building up top, I'm not going to put any windows on it just to kind of have a little bit more variety. And so now I'm going to start with the other side of the street. So I'm going to make another street coming off of this one by drawing a horizontal line. And then I'm erasing my line that I made originally. And I'm going to start with the horizontal for the building that is facing me. So I'm starting with the front of the building. And because it's facing me, it's just going to be a rectangle or a square, depending on the size of your building. It's going to overlap a little bit. It's going to overlap the street and a little bit of that building that I drew earlier. So I'm going to erase all these areas inside here. Now that I'm done with the face, the sides of this rectangle that is going to be my building are going to go to the vanishing point. So it's going to be overlapping a little bit, so I'm going to erase any area that overlaps. And we're going to draw a horizontal for the back side. And then draw this side to the vanishing point. And then I'm going to want to make sure that I have this line go all the way across and then erase anything on the inside. Now that I've got quite a few different sizes of buildings, you can see that this is starting to come together as a little city. Now I'm going to draw my door, and I'm going to make this door a little to the left. And we want the height of this door to kind of match the one that is across the street because they're not very far off from each other as far as how close they are to us. So the building um, is going to be a kind of close to the same size, and therefore these doors should be about the same size too. And then I'm going to draw a window. And again, because this is a side of the wall that's facing me, everything is going to be um, just straight lines. Nothing's going to be going to the horse, uh, to the vanishing point. These windows didn't quite match up, so I'm just going to go over it one more time and make sure that they're spaced out proportionately. So now I'm going to show some inside of this building. So going from the corner, I'm going to just draw on the inside here and towards the vanishing point. 
and it's going to look like the back of this building so you can kind of see the inner wall and then you're also going to see a little bit of the back wall so I'm going to draw a horizontal line and then erase a little bit and draw the corner of the room but yeah if you want you can put stuff inside of the room too you can fill it with things you can put chairs tables plants whatever you want to do I'm just gonna do mine blank for now and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the top I'm gonna do another row of windows and then I'm also gonna show the inside of the top floor as well I know one thing you can do, and I forgot to do this in the beginning, but you can always add it in, is do a little sidewalk. That way the buildings aren't directly against the street. And you can't really see much of the sidewalk uh, towards the vanishing point, but I'm going to try to draw a little bit there. And then make a sidewalk that wraps around this building. And for these top windows, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go from the vanishing point and I'm going to show the walls on the inside. Then I'll draw a horizontal line across. And then also draw this corner of the room. And so now you can see the two different floors. Next, I'm going to do another building, and so I want to make this sidewalk go around this building. And then another street is going to be formed here. And then I'm going to erase these lines. I'm going to move on to the next building in this line. So I'm going to start by drawing a horizontal line for the height of this building. And then I'm going to be drawing, and I accidentally did a vanishing point there and then I realized I really don't need that because it's actually going to be above the vanishing point. So I'm going to erase that and then I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way across. And then I'm going to kind of look at where the street is going to go so I can determine where I could end this building at. I want to make sure this building ends on the line of this street even though you can't see it because it's behind this building. I'm going to try to make it land there. And then I'm just going to erase the inside. And I'm going to leave the vanishing point though, don't erase that yet because we still need it. For this building, there really isn't any other angles of the building that you're going to see. So all you're really going to see is this face that's facing you. So now I'm going to finish the sidewalk over here. And I want it to wrap around this building, so I'm going to go a little bit further. And then I'm going to connect it to the vanishing point and I'm going to erase the line that I made that's against the street here. Because I don't want it to end right where the building ends. I want it to have a little bit more space so that you could walk around the building and be on the sidewalk. And then I'm going to do it on the other side as well. 
and then I'm gonna do another building. I'll draw another horizontal line in the corner and I'm gonna make this building a little bit taller probably about a three-story building and then make sure the top of your building goes towards the vanishing point make it as long as you want and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and then draw another horizontal for the other side of the building so that completes this side that's on the left. And then draw a horizontal for the side that's facing you. Now for this building, I'm going to be doing the uh, door on the side of it. And I'm going to make this door about the same size as well because it's not very far off from these doors that are front in front here. So it's going to be slightly smaller because it's a little bit further back. After I do the door, I'm going to do the same thing as I'm doing with every other one, and I'm going to start doing some windows. And don't worry if your lines aren't perfect. Obviously, you're not going to be graded on it, but it's good to introduce you to perspective early because eventually, if you do go on to art and you want to do it in high school and college, um, you will learn perspective there and you actually will be graded on it. Um, I took a perspective drawing class and you had to be very, very precise in that. And so it's good to try to make these lines um, as precise as you can, but um, you're just learning right now, so they're not going to be perfect. Uh, so don't worry if you have some lines that are slightly off. And I'm going to make this, instead of a window, I think what I'm going to do is actually make this a billboard. And so I'm adding some depth to it and making it kind of look like it's sticking out from the wall. I'm doing this to add a little bit of variety. That way it's not all windows, since some buildings have billboards on them. Or they have a sign with the business name, which this could be as well. And from here, I'm going to do one more building in the back here. And then that is going to complete my drawing. So I'm going to make this a really big building. And it's going to be going off my uh, page here. So I have a point up above where I'm deciding that I'm going to go from and then draw down to the vanishing point from that. On this last building in the back, I'm going to do some windows as well, but I'm going to do some windows that are slightly different than the rest. Um, I'm actually going to do some windows that are all in a vertical line, and just to add a little bit more variety to the types of windows that I have. And remember to make the window panes get skinnier as they get closer to the vanishing point.
I notice one of my lines is pretty far off, so I'm going to erase that one and make it a little bit more centered. Now you can see that the line is in a better spot and then I'm just going to erase in between but I'm not going to erase the uh, horizontal areas in between I'm just going to erase down vertically that way these windows look a little bit different than the rest so I've got windows that are closer together and then I've got other windows which are further apart and then I've got some windows that are small some windows that are large um, some that are medium sized just to add a little bit more of a variety to these buildings since no building um, usually buildings don't look alike now I'll just erase the vanishing point and I'm all done so you can choose to add some trees if you want and whatever you want to add to it alright so that is it for this week's tutorial on space so I hope you enjoyed watching along with me, and if you did create something using this project, uh, please do show it to us. We would really like to see it, and I hope you'll join me next week. We have one more element of art to cover, and that is going to be four. So I'll see you next week, and don't forget to subscribe to BMCYF's YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this. Bye!